G'day guys, we've got a uh, algebra question here today where we've got to solve a system of linear equations i.e. 4x plus 3y equals negative 2 and 2x minus 2y equals negative 8. Now, we have two ways that we can go about solving this system. We can use what we call the elimination method or we can use the substitution method. Now in this video I will be going through both to try and give you an understanding of how both of them work and how we can arrive at the same answer by using two different methods. But, um, you know, usually in a question, if you're, if you're just being introduced to these two methods, a question will explicitly state which one you need to use. But once you get a little bit further on in your maths, you can just pick and choose, like, whether you think one will be easier than the other to solve a particular set. Okay. So let's just quickly describe what each of them like we re requires us to do to uh, solve the equations. So the elimination method basically involves multiplying one of the um, linear equations by a, a number, which will allow us, when it's taken away or added to the other linear equation, eliminate one of the variables. Now I'll get to that in a second. The substitution method involves rewriting or manipulating one of the linear equations so it is one variable in terms of another variable. In this case we could do x in terms of y, y in terms of x, and then we substitute it in for the variable in the other equation. Now I'll explain how that works in a second as well. But let's start with the elimination method. Now, like I said before, what we have to do here is we're going to multiply one of the equations. I'm going to actually do number two, the second one, We've got to multiply it by a number, so when we subtract it from the other one, we can eliminate one of our variables. In this case, I'm going to multiply the second um, linear equation by 2. So we're going to have a set of linear equations. The first one is remains constant, 4x plus 3y equals negative 2. However, the second one, if I multiply the entire thing by 2, will become 4x minus 2y minus 4y equals negative 16. Great. Now, if I subtract this second one, the second equation, from the first, I get 4x take 4x is 0x. And 3y take negative 4y is 7y because the two negatives make a positive and 2 take negative 16 or negative 2 take negative 16 will give us 14. So from here we can say that, let's go back to our substitution method colour, we can say that uh, 7y is equal to 14 and that y will be have to obviously equal Two. Once we get to here, the methods are exactly the same once we've solved for one of the variables. We can just substitute that variable into one of our equations. I'll do this, the top one. So we're going to have 4x plus 3y, which is 2, equals negative 2. So, I have now 4x plus 6 equals negative 2. I take the 6 over the other side. I have 4x equals negative 8. And then I have x is equal to negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. So my two solutions then become y equals 2, x equals negative 2. Okay. So that's how the substitution method works. As you can see, what I did is to get from this question here to here and multiplied that one by 2 and then subtracted it from the first equation. So that's how the elimination method works. Now, this only really works if you can see that, notice how 2, it's pretty obvious that 2 will go into 4. Or if this was, rather than being a uh, 2 here, this was a 6 we know that we could multiply the top by 2 because we know that this one and this one would then be the same. So, 
you know, the elimination method, although it works quite well and it's quite effective, it only really works if you can see um, nice, simple scalar multiples of one of the variables. Now, let's go on to the substitution method. Now, the substitution method involves making, rearranging one of the formulas. We'll take the top one this time because, oh, no, we'll still use the bottom one. It's going to be easier. And making it one variable in terms of the other. In this case, I'm going to make it x in terms of y. So let me write down the, the function that I have. It's 2x minus 2y equals negative 8. Now, I'm going to take the 2y across to the side, giving us 2x equals negative 8 plus 2y. I'm then going to divide both sides by 2. And I'm left with x is equal to. Now, I'm going to put the 2y in front of the 8, so I don't have this negative sign sitting out the front. So 2y divided by 2 is just y. And negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Cool. So now I have a function that expresses one of my variables in terms of the other. So what I do now is, I, like the names of this um, method suggests, I substitute it in for the variable in the other equation. So my other equation was 4x plus 3y equals negative 2. So I'm going to substitute my x in there. So if anyone's still struggling to figure out what that means, that means I'm just going to go 4. Instead of writing x, I'm going to write y take 4. And then I just continue rewriting my equation. I multiply out my bracket. I give myself a little bit more space, combine my like terms. And then I take my 16 over to the other side. This is hopefully looking familiar to you guys. And again, like we would have done in this other one, we substitute y into the other formula. We could put it in the bottom one if you like. And we get x is equal to negative 2. So what I've done is I've solved this set of linear equations using the two different methods that are first shown to us when we get these simultaneous style equations. So what we um, can do is we can either use the elimination method where we are eliminating one of the variables or we can use the substitution method in which we're substituting one of the variables out by getting the other equation in the form of x equals y in terms of y or y in terms of x. So they're not too complicated, guys. It's going to require a little bit of practice. You can't just sit on your ass and just be able to like understand it straight away. But do a bit of practice. Do yourselves a favor. You know, go over it a couple of times. You know, if you like using one of the methods more than the other, try to use the other method a bit. Just so if the question asks, use the elimination method, use the substitution method too. You can still, you still got it. But, you know, if you like this video, guys, if it's helped at all, you know, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And, you know, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos like this almost every day. But until next time, um, enjoy your maths.